Hey guys, welcome to one of my first ever Let's Plays. Well, for single player, that is. Today we're going to be playing some, a game called Alien Isolation. Now, I've watched this game a little bit on YouTube, you know, with the famous people, you know, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, and I decided that, you know what, I might as well try it out for myself. Me, I hate horror games. I'm probably going to cry and piss myself, but it's, it's bound to happen to just about anybody. So without further ado, l let's get into this game. Alright, Alien Isolation. Start new game. Ooh. Well, I don't know how to play this game, so... Hmm. Let's go with the easy mode, just because I don't know how to play this game. Alright, um, let's see. Barely visible. Alright. Alright, well there I can barely see it. The more you can collect and build, the more options you... Oh, never mind. I guess I just don't get to read that. Anyways, um, like I said, I'm, I'm not very good at games, and I, I get scared very easily. So, if all of a sudden the camera... Not the camera, but like the game just stops moving and you hear a scream. I'm I might have I might have ran away from the computer. And I would apply face cam to this for kind of reactions Final like that, but the commercial I don't deem it necessary. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Ooh, they're dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ooh, ominous music. Dun dun. So, like I said. Oh, okay, never mind. I, get, I still don't get to talk. Look at that. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? Well, yeah, I'd be I'm looking too. I'm to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Black screen, dun dun. 
So, I figure I'm going to do these in 20 minute episodes, maybe 25 minute episodes. If you guys want it to be a little less, a little more, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. I'm sorry if the game is absurdly loud. I can always change that around. I'm naked. Look at that. Huh. Let's see. Let's change these graphics just a little bit. Film grain intensity. Change that down just a little bit. Level of detail. Change that down just a little bit as well. Yes. Just to make the game a little bit smoother. Oh, I guess it doesn't really change it. Oh, sign in. Please sign in. E. Explore the Torrens. Where is everybody? Huh. Objective. Get dressed. Well, where's... Here are my shoes. Can I... Oh! Do I have to... No, I can't just put my shoes on like that. Oh, there are more shoes. Where are my clothes? It told me to go... Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> there's a little fat sumo wrestle over here. That's funny. All right, let's also, it's a, it's a little bit loud, so let me go to the audio in the game, and even though I turned it down quite a bit, oh, oh maybe not that well, but how, how's that? <clears throat> All right, that's not that bad. All right. Look at that one. Oh, that looks like a place where I would get dressed. Right? Right? I would assume so, right? this one open what oh no there's oh there's multiple huh all right Verlaine, you are on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He, he's he got good papers. Same old story. The Megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you're just you just shipped away. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland Yutani paid well. Hmm. Good luck to you. If you can't beat him, right? Huh, okay. Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Whoever Blaine is. Why was I able to sign on? Huh. Being told to get dressed, but I don't necessarily... No. Oh. There we go. All right. Uh, I I thought yeah I thought it was Ripley. What? All right. Okay. Um. Use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Registration. Oh, it must be this. This must be... Yeah, that must be what they're talking about. Or this. Oh, no, it's this. Okay. Yes. Man. Fucking head spin in this game. Huh. 
Maybe I can use that as like maybe some sort of decontamination later. Who knows? Oh, could I have gotten dressed here too? Possibly. There's a lot of junk everywhere though. Hmm. Well, that door doesn't seem to be working. Oh, that says caution. Oh, uh, so maybe that's like a, um, you know, when they bring other things on set. Oh. Hey. I see you. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to you. Venestromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. All right. Oh. Hmm. Well, oh shit. Even that scared me. Jesus Christ. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a complete the accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. All right. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Oh. There you are. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel huh. open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Where the hell are my briefing documents? Is this them right here? Oh. See it. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74. Tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a Wayland Utani bond. 
You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I've fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. This is pretty badass. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Tim. <laughs> Just keep moving. <laughs> Halo, Ripley, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was anticlimactic. You see that big little ex like explosion there for the depressurization, and then all of a sudden, there we go. That's what we wanted. All right. Well, that was a that was an interesting little kind of introduction to how everything's gonna play out later on, if I do say so myself, and I do. don't like this. Oh, jeez, okay. Yep, I already don't like this. Why do I have a broken wrist? What's that beeping sound? I'm trying to figure out what that is. Oh. This. Huh. Oh, no. I don't like... No, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck? No, no.
Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Alright. Oh. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, look at that. Shit, dude. This game's got me on edge already. We haven't even already got... I think we're fi about 15 minutes in. Alright, well, I'll just assume that I can't go that way, and then I'll go this way. Because I don't feel like becoming, you know, a crispy fry. Oh, is that really the only way I can go? Ugh. Oh, look at that. What? I really don't like this. Honestly, right now, I think my, uh, I think my only friend here is the, um, is the fire, because it's what's keeping everything lit up. I don't like how there are so many corridors. Can I go through here? All right, so this is, okay. All right. Let's see. Folder corrupted. Two engineering team. Um, I honestly never, I, I'm assuming art right, means reply, decommission. So boys and girls, you've probably heard of, heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits, the suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean over, but it does mean over time. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to martial weights. So, it, I'm assuming when it says decommissioned, I think it means that, like, they're getting rid of everything here, and they're, like, going to scrap it all, maybe? Um, and the only thing I can really come to after that is thinking that maybe while they were doing that they un uncovered something they probably didn't want to uncover. I knew it was gonna happen. God damn it. God damn it. Oh fuck me dude. I knew it was gonna happen. Jesus. I saw that and I was like th I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Great. God damn. What the fuck is this? No. Oh. Q to open real inventory and use mouse to select. What? Oh. How do I use it? Oh. Hard to activate. Aren't I supposed to go up here? I mean, it only seems logical that I go up here. Or maybe I I go under through here. See to crouch. Okay. I thought it was shift. 
Okay. Huh. All right. Hmm. Are these movable? Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, thank you. All right, let's go down that way. Then we feel safer. You know what we need? We need a little safe point. This actually, as a matter of fact, does not feel safer, now that I think about it. Oh, you know, actually, I would have preferred walking around without the flare because this feels a lot more, uh, how do I say, like not as scary because the flare made it really scary. Now it is pretty dark and it is kind of ominous. You know, you don't necessarily want to be walking around these parts at night. Am I the only one that hears these, uh, small, like... What the hell is that? Oh, I feel like something bad's about to happen. I guess nothing really bad can happen right here, can it? <laughs> no, let's turn that off. That's gonna scare the crap out of me. I'm a, I'm a probably run in here to escape something later, and then all of a sudden, oh. Hello? Anyone here? Um. <laughs> There are too many dark corners. I don't feel like trying to fuck with that. Oh. Alright. Wait a minute. Do I want to do this? What does this do? Oh, no, no, no. Turn that back on. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I, I get it. Okay. Alright. Oh, I assume... The fuck is that crawling around? Alright guys, well I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to go ahead and quickly save the game where we're at right now. If you guys want to see more of this, please let me know down in the comments. Or you can simply send me a message, you know, <laughs> to my YouTube channel. My email should be in there. I mean, I would hope it would be in there. That's a really creepy fucking sound. So, like I said, I'm going to leave it here. I like this game. I like where it's going. It's got me on edge. So as soon as we start seeing some bad guys, I'm g I'm probably going to piss myself. You guys are going to have a hell of a time. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.